I don't understand why Australia didn't, just as Europe did many years ago, make it uh, a criminal offence to deny the Holocaust. So when I saw... Um, when I saw those lunatic fascists in Melbourne on St Kilda Beach giving the Heil Hitler salute in our city... Wasn't Fraser Anning with them? And Fraser yes. Anning was with them. I was just enraged that there is no law to stop that. The police, you know, were there. Um, there was a counter-protest. But it just should be illegal. And then they daubed anti-Semitic filth all over the walls around the suburb, including on a Jewish old people's home. Imagine how terrifying that would be for the people in that old people's home. And, you know, this kind of thing now is going on regularly. Um, I worked for months with... Um, as sort of backup support to Nyadol Nyon's campaign to stop, um, you know, an extreme right winger and I would say fascist um, from getting a visa to come to Australia. And Nyadol um, obtained over 50,000 signatures. It was probably closer to 100,000 signatures to stop... Um, undesirables from entering this country and spreading this right-wing extremism, this racist extremism. And uh, it, it took the good offices of, of Mark Dreyfus as the Shadow Attorney General to give us the support to, you know, get into Parliament. And, and eventually uh, there was a positive resolution. The, the visas were not issued. But when our senators voted for Pauline Hanson's idiotic resolution, It's OK to be white, which is a Ku Klux Klan slogan, I, I felt sick and I started to lose hope. I thought, how can apparently intelligent people vote for that resolution? I, I was so disgusted and, uh, you know, just look at the list of people who voted for that resolution. It's shocking. It's absolutely deeply, deeply shocking. And I, you know, to this day, I'm going... To, I have to say I'm going to find it very, very difficult to be civil to the people who voted for that resolution in the Senate. And this, this movement has brought disgrace to our parliament. This filth is in our parliament. And there, there's barely an objection. You know, what is this... Why, why didn't the people responsible in Parliament put a halt to this? How could anybody let Pauline Hanson's resolution go through to the, the Senate chamber? How could that happen? So I think, really, the whole of Australia needs to be re-educated and, and, the, and the government had better start doing it. Um, do you know there are young Australians in school who don't know what the Holocaust is? They don't know anything about it. Um, most people don't know about the Genocide Convention. They don't know about the Nuremberg Trials. And, you know, I could go on and on. Um, I, I, I would like to see the government take these issues much more seriously and, and I would like to see the responsible members of our parliament take the... The issue seriously enough to refuse to play games like giving visas to provocateurs who bring this Nazi filth into our country. I want that to stop. Okay. <laughs>